Until I can get somewhere better, I have to stay here. Carolyn Krause is one of about a dozen that chose to stay behind at the Budgetel Inn. Why did you continue to stay here after the management told you to leave? I had no, they had already taken my money and they weren't returning the money. I had nowhere else to go. She had double pneumonia and is now on an oxygen tank, something she relies on electricity for. But around three this morning, she says the power was permanently shut down and the life on this tank is running out. And that scares me. I'm scared I'm going to go back to the hospital. I don't want to go back to the hospital. Most of the rooms next to her have since been boarded up. There are conditions in that budget hotel that are that are not livable and in in subpar for any living condition and it it's not right for us to see that continue the city calls it unlivable not to mention more than 1400 calls for service to this single location over the past year and a half we're talking about mold and rodents and electrical issues and accessibility issues for those with special needs. That's why the city gave them what's called a notice and order back in September, which is basically a warning asking the motel owners to make improvements. But those never happened. Today, they're considering a declaration of nuisance on the property, which asks for the same improvements, but this time it could include a $100,000 fine. And if they're not addressed, then the city will be forced to take action to ensure that they are addressed. And if that means that the city has to act on it themselves or itself, we will absolutely do that. Demolishing the building altogether would be the city's final resort, but the future of those who are refusing to leave is still unclear. We need help and we need a nice warm place to go. In Modesto, Lena Howland, ABC 10 News.